Hello there, my beautiful YouTube. It is your boy B3, back with another kicking graphic novel review. I think I'm just going to go straight through the Immortal Hulk stuff. Not sure if I'm going to take a break, but there are nine volumes out, and we've reviewed one of them. I also reviewed the Absolute Carnage tie-in book, and I still have more Absolute Carnage and Donny Cates Venom stuff to review. Still got a, I haven't reviewed any King in Black. Uh, I reviewed Silver Surfer Black, though. Uh, but we'll get to all that. We'll get to all this Marvel monster stuff. Because Marvel is investing heavily in monsters, as is DC and the comics industry as a whole. Very excited about it all. But today we are looking at The Immortal Hulk, Volume 2, The Green Door. We talked about The Green Door a little bit last time. This time we are really going to get into it. Uh, quick read up at the back of the book. The horror has returned. And now... The entire world knows. As Bruce Banner struggles to control the undying monster within, he finds himself hunted by his old friends and allies. To what lengths will the Avengers go to stop a monster of their own making? And the mysterious scientists of Shadowbase have their own plans for Banner. Though they may just find horror instead. But they are more, there are more sinister forces at work. Something terrible has infected Banner, a dark infection, with unspeakable plans for humanity. The problem is only that the problem is only the Immortal Hulk knows about it. Meanwhile, Carl Crusher Creel was just trying to get out. But now, to save what he built for himself, he must do the impossible. The Absorbing Man must kill the immortal Hulk. But the Hulk is the one thing standing between the world of the living and the terrors that await on the other side of the Green Door. Collecting Immortal Hulk 6 through 10 by Al Ewing, John Bennett, Lee Garbett, Martin Simmons, Rui Jose, Lebu Underwood, Rafael Frontieres, and Paul Mounts. I don't think I did too bad with the names that time. Last couple of videos I really did poorly with the names, but you know, I'm just looking at the credits on a screen here with my notes and stuff, and uh, they're tiny. I'm not smart. Uh, and it's T for Teen. There is significant horror. So, I, I think it's appropriate. I think T for Teen is the correct rating, but still, it's pretty hardcore. And it gets more hardcore as it goes along. So... We get, the, we get a lot about Banner's relationship with Hulks, and we get to talk about a lot of different Hulks. Since he'd come back to life, he hasn't been to see his wife, Betty. And she's like, it's just rumor he can't be alive because he'd come see me if he was. He's not doing that. And we got this organization that's keeping the exhumed Gamma Guy captive, and they're basically the continuation of General Ross's work, Thunderbolt Ross. They want to stop the Hulk at all costs. And then Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel, who is in charge of Alpha Flight, puts together a group called Gamma Flight to uh, take out the Hulk. I'm not sure if... I think that's in this volume. <laughs> but yeah, she and the Avengers kind of show up to stop him, along with She-Hulk and Devil Hulk. Dude, he really puts a beating on him. Even Iron Man's in a Hulkbuster, which looks exactly like the one from Age of Ultron. Uh... Give us a new Hulkbuster. You don't have to reference the MCU in your comics every chance you get, Marvel. I know you love to do that, but you don't have to. We've seen the movies. We've seen the design before. You know? But yeah, like, he hits Black Panther so hard that the kinetic energy absorber in his suit overloads and a lot of crazy stuff. And I hear She-Hulk is pretty insane right now, and I really want to read her comics, but there's a lot of that going on. The Avengers destroy an entire town just so they can capture the Hulk. And they give him to these scientists who chop him up and put his body parts in different jars so he can't reform. But of course, eventually he does reform. Uh, and it's super grotesque. And Hulk, I'm not going to tell you how he does it. It's a really cool, it's a really cool move. I, I want, you need to read it for yourself. But Hulk kills someone and that's a first hulk crosses the line and kills 
And then we get some horrible body horror. Like, the, the Bruce Banner to Hulk and Hulk to Bruce Banner transfer nations now are just top-tier body horror. They are so disgusting and gross. They are nasty. But basically, the Absorbing Man uh, is tasked with defeating the Hulk, even though he's literally never been able to do it before. But they basically have the Absorbing Man absorb what they used to turn General Ross into the Red Hulk, and Absorbing Man becomes a Red Hulk, which is awesome. Red Hulks were kind of always my favorite. Um, I, they had a bit more of a weakness than the original Hulk, which makes them a bit more interesting, gives them more odds to overcome, you know? But it kind of allows the Green Door to get to him and stuff to possess him and just rip him apart. It's absolutely wild. There's so much stuff going on. And he was about to beat the Hulk, too. That's the crazy part. Before the Green Door stepped in and just fucked it all up. You know? Uh, it's pretty crazy. And it kind of ends with them all in hell. The place below or something. They all go to hell. By my book, all dinosaurs go to hell. <laughs> I'm not reviewing these because of the hell stuff and the connection to my book, but I did that with the Godzilla book, though. But uh, it, that's just a happy coincidence. But that is it for The Immortal Hulk Volume 2, The Green Door. Pretty kick-ass book. It's really good. Immortal Hulk is one of the best books Marvel has had in a very, very long time. And I highly recommend you read it. All the single issues are out. Not all the trades. I think there might be one more trade left to come. Maybe two. But there's nine out at the time of recording this. Uh, next time we get to see more of Hulk in Hell. In fact, that's the name of the volume. Uh, so I'll see you all then. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you next time with more Immortal Hulk.